part two of heavy Indian outfit. From part one, it was quite clear how much I'm in love with heavy desi clothing, but they come very heavy on the pocket. At least like six, seven thousand per outfit right now for me is expensive. But I did save up a big chunk Diwali ke reels ke liye because Navratri reels were a stupendous success. I knew we have to do something for Diwali as well. I went to a mall called Moksh Plaza at Borivali Station. I know you're going to be upset that you have just come offline here because this was the first time I was doing festive content. I didn't pre-plan it enough to have time to order and search for outfits online. But as promised, online on Indian wear, me, kuch to aa raha hai. Buckle your seat belts up for that. Today, I'm going to show you all the five outfits that I had shortlisted for our Diwali series, which are so beautiful and so beautiful that they can be worn in weddings. So let's start with the first outfit, which I am currently wearing. The color palette of this was instantly what made me like go crazy about it because pastels is very soothing to the eye like usko dekh ke kuch aisa feeling aata hai ki bahut hi ethereal vibe aata you know the base color of the center outfit is peachish the work on it has yellow pink blue green and peach again the mirror work is not very very shiny so it has its own sheen to it but it brings a lot of heaviness to the outfit like when there's flash photography or something like that it's embroidered front and back and similar work is used in the choker dupatta choker dupatta trend is one of my favorite desi trends of late because even when my dupattas are not choker and they're full dupattas I toh bhi usko pleat karke aise pehenti hu like how I'd worn my yellow outfit at Ganpati if there's one person who's happy about this it's going to be me the dupatta also has tassels at the bottom and they're all of different colors and the kurta has an umbrella shape I feel like jab hi outfit mein pehle se shape rehta hai woh bhoat hi chic lagta hai you don't really have to worry about holding your posture up just to make sure that it's flowing well it is going to flow regardless and especially because the umbrella is starting from the waist. The peplum looks very good. The shirara does have a good flair as well, but it's completely plain and I don't mind that because the kurta is quite heavy. Now, this outfit was MRP'd at around 7,000, but we got it for 6,000 because it was 15-20% off. I'll mention the exact address of the stores I got the outfits from in the description box down below in case you want to check it out. Now, the second outfit is something that I had spotted when I had taken the relative out for shopping. We were all walking and I don't know what was it about this outfit ki sab ki nazar wa outfit pe gai aur sab ne point out karke bola ki wo outfit bohar achha hai na us pe koi work hai na us ka shape ek dem different tha but it was very striking for everybody I tried it on and I felt even more pretty after wearing it and just seeing it in the mannequin there's this blue and white tie dye shirara this movie choko dupatta hai there are tassels of like roche is not the word but it's like a white lace the shirara has a huge flare I think this is the biggest flare in a shirara from all the outfits and that's why when I was spinning for the reel it was a very big wow moment I think it's the simplicity of the print and how well it is fitted that is really bringing all the attention to this outfit and this was for around 2700 after discount I think it's a good deal I know that there is no work in it but sometimes it's not just about making sure that there's work if the entire vibe of the outfit is really good and the amount of fabric that went into making this outfit I find it quite worth the money now the third outfit is an anarchy one piece until Three years ago, I'd say I was not into anarchy. There was this very very close function in my family where the dress code was only one piece and only the main person in the function that वही लहंगा पहन सकते हैं. I didn't have a single one piece in my wardrobe. Indian wear वाले. I'm such a lehenga girl. I love it when वो लहंगा waist से layer होता है and the blouse is quite fitted at the top. तो वो मुझे fit अच्छी लगती है. One pieces are not always tailor made in the right way. तो वो vibe नहीं आती. That was the first time I ever went shopping for one pieces and because it was such a close function when a very heavy dress liya tha OG members will remember this entire incident I don't think after that I wore many one pieces in general I bought different sari styles and all but this one had embroidery at the top it was a strappy one piece strappy hailey match made in heaven the shape of the outfit was white flary from the waist it literally had can can in it and not just that the dupatta also had the same embroidery as the top so I have a lot of shock of embroidery if there is any outfit in embroidery I get attached attracted to it very very fast I tried it on it looked beautiful it came with padding with it and that is something that was throwing the fitting a little bit off however I like it when clothes have padding and I don't have to bother with the undergarments so I did not get the pads removed I let them be and now it's a little loose but I'll get it fitted after wedding season is over if I give it for fitting it's going to take one or two weeks so I'd rather just figure it out myself but this outfit was for around 6,000 rupees which I think I overpaid for I could have gotten it for a little bit less in local markets it was just too too pretty and our experience of actually trying it on 
on before buying it. I was like, नहीं ये ले लेते हैं इट इज अ वेरी हैवी आउटफिट कुड बी वोन ऑन हेल्दी ऑल्स योर ओन हेल्दी बिकॉज इट्स ट्रैपी ना तो आपके हाथ पूरे अवेलेबल होंगे टू अप्लाई सेकेंड हाउस आउटफिट इज अ बेबी पिंक शरारा सेट इफ यू कैन टेल ऑलरेडी आई लव प्लेट आई लव घेरा आई लव ड्रामेटिक आउटफिट दिस आउटफिट इज वॉट द शॉपिंग स्प्री हैथ स्टार्टेड ऑन इट इज कम्प्लीटली फिल्ड अप विद एम्ब्रॉयडरी इन द फ्रंट एंड हेवी एम्ब्रॉयडरी लाइक प्रॉपर गोल्ड एम्ब्रॉयडरी नेक लाइन ऑफ द कुर्ता वॉज वेरी यूनिक बिकॉज इट वॉज लाइक अ हॉल्टर नेक बट नॉट एक्जैक्टली हॉल्टर फ्रॉम द बैक वॉज क्वाइट कम्फर्टेबल लाइक दैट लाइक इट डेंट हैव टू बॉर्डर the lingerie the sharara is a very simple and the dupatta is something jo mujhe itna nahi pasand aa raha tha because it was a net dupatta this outfit was around 3 and a half thousand because of the entire get up of the kurta and the sharara i let the dupatta go i don't mind net dupatta but i just wanted a little bit more from the dupatta and i'm not sure what that is overall because of the color it is very subtle and it goes very beautifully with rose gold stuff like rose gold heels or a clutch bag or a makeup or so the entire feel of the outfit was very princess like the reel also that we shot it was in a garden which didn't have like much upkeep there was a lot of rainness and browns going on but still it freaking stood out because of the embroidery and the colors that was a winner and that leaves us with the last outfit which was such an impromptu buy the sales associate was showing me everything and was quoting very lesser prices than what they were actually for he told me this dress is for 5000 try it on this is for 3000 and the price tag would be almost double of that so this next outfit that you're seeing now it's a pink strappy crop top the sharara has a little bit of work on it i'm not sure if it's a sharara or a gharara i think it's a gharara this one really really wide plazo pants and it comes with a choker dupatta the work on the crop top and just the entire aura of this outfit was very vibrant very punjabi and just but not out of my comfort zone it wasn't something that i felt overburdened with or gaudy but it was just too too pretty i go out and i'm like bhaiya ye wala side pe rakhna theek hai and then I go for billing and you know what the price tag says it said 10800 for that one one outfit it's not my shadi it's a series i want to make on my own but then he's like nahi aap le lo le lo le lo he gave me 3000 ka discount so 8000 tak mein pada outfit and then i asked mom ki will you let me wear this at my cousin's wedding and other function so she said theek hai like i'll let you wear it is exactly why i went ahead and bought it ki at least in five wedding functions i have to wear it anyhow the deal also came out very very well and our outfit is super super pretty these were all the outfits that i recently purchased for instagram reels but i want to wear them every day because i love these indian outfits let me know which was your favorite down below majority of these outfits are from a store called anita emporium which is on the lower ground floor of moksh plaza address will be mentioned in the description box for sure there are actually three four stores anita ko lagke on the same floor if you want to explore you should definitely check other places out before you finally buy from anita almost everybody has a very similar collection but the price points are very different at every single store do check out all the other stores before you go and buy from there let me know which are the up and coming indian web websites are need to try and do watch out for this project announcement i have about indian wear because i can't keep calm about it it is going to be quite epic but if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you did not enjoy watching this video then ask it a thumbs down i will see you in a brand new video very very soon until then goodbye